Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are finally doing our little plant room makeover. Well, technically it's my bedroom. There is a bed here, but for the most part, the plants own this room. If you guys recall from my last video where we did a tour of all the plants in my bedroom and the current setup, I was sharing with you guys that I want to do a couple things in the room to make it a little bit more organized. And really the objective is to make a lot more space for more plants. That is the goal here. The plan is we're going to put together these two greenhouses cabinets from Ikea. We're going to put it on each side of my bed here. So that means this dresser needs to go away. And then that station over there with that shelf needs to go away as well. And then we're going to install a floating shelf above my headboard to add a bit more hanging plants. And then we're going to put an accent mirror uh, below that to so add a bit more color and a bit of shape into this space. But uh, that is the plan for today. So without further ado, we're going to get started here. So I think the first thing I want to do is move the plants out of the way. We don't want any of them getting damaged while we're putting a lot of this stuff together. Uh, so let's go. All right guys, so we're going to install the floating shelf and the first thing I did here yesterday was kind of mark where I want the height of the shelf to be at. And I also tried to level it using my phone, so I'm hoping it works. It is a concrete wall, so I'm gonna have to use a concrete drill bit for this one and then use a concrete anchor to hold it up. So that is what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna put this all together right now. Don't shame what I did to you, but here's my confession. The least I can do You know I was trying It was never enough I needed somebody But it got Alright guys, I am freaking tired It took so long to just drill those holes in the concrete wall And uh, I think what made it harder is because I wasn't properly leveled Like I was too short to put some pressure So I was using all my bite and it was just it <laughs> That is why I wanted to do this one first, because I knew it would take the longest. And uh, yes, yeah, so I'm hoping the holes I drilled is deep enough for this for these anchors to go on, but we're gonna find out. So let's go ahead and do this right now. We did our best as we could. It's not perfect. I couldn't mount that end, so I had to use double back tape. Uh, I don't think I drilled enough, but whatever. We're not gonna put anything heavy on here, just a couple of my hanging uh, plants and whatnot, but uh, we'll see. Okay. I swear, sometimes the simplest things are always the hardest things. I think this is leveled. <laughs> Whatever, we're not gonna redo this, even if it's not leveled. Ta-da! Okay, let's go see how this looks from a center perspective. Uh, okay, I think it looks fine. Alrighty, we got the hardest part done. We're gonna move on to building one of the greenhouse cabinets. We're gonna do the one on this side and then we'll move on to that one. I'm gonna just get tidy up here and clean up for a second. All right guys, so we're gonna start building the uh, greenhouse cabinet here from Ikea. And uh, we're gonna start with the base and then work on the frame and then we'll do the glass. I read the instructions really, really well last night uh, or the other night because whenever I install like Ikea furniture, there's always something that I do wrong and then I gotta undo it. And uh, you know, sometimes I didn't got as far as like building everything and then I realized that something was wrong or backwards and take everything apart. So I wanna avoid doing that. And uh, yes, yeah, so I'm pretty comfortable with how to build this. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and start right now. And uh, yeah, let's do this. Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting... All right guys, so we built our uh, base frame, which is right here got it all together and next stage is this base or this bottom part which has two pieces I just need to make sure that the right side is facing the right way so this is the front this is the back and uh, I got to drill some holes right here and on this one and on this sheet metal as well because that's where we're going to plug the uh, or we're going to slip through the cables for the lights and for the fan so I'm gonna go outside and do that right now and uh, but this time this time I 
All right, guys, so I think we got the hardest part done, which is drilling the holes on these uh, bottom parts. So we're gonna put the rest of the frame together, and then I think from there, it's gonna be the glass. So I just wanna make sure I line this up properly. This is the front, and this is the back. And we're gonna begin uh, putting this stuff together. When you don't have to, there's so much that I'm still keeping to myself. Cause you don't listen, babe. But still you got me missing you. When I see you, my heart starts racing. But I don't know if I like this chasing. All right, guys, so we got our frame all put together. Next stage is to start putting the glass walls. Normally you want two people to do this, but I'm just by myself right now, so I'm gonna try my best uh, to put these guys together. I'm gonna lean it against closer to the wall, so that way, you know, in case the glass drops, I have somewhere to catch, so we're gonna go ahead and put this against the wall. I am so excited. I got it put together and honestly a lot easier than I expected. I was stressing out about it. I think the hardest part was obviously drilling the holes down there but putting the frame together in the glass was surprisingly a lot easier and oh, I love it. It's so beautiful. I'm glad I went with the black one because I think it's gonna look sick in this room especially when you put everything together. So I'm gonna work on the other one. That one should be a lot faster and then we'll start moving plants and then uh, adding the lights and then the fan and uh, yeah, let's go. Nobody told me to settle down. Day nights and late nights don't get around. But there's something about you, something about you I like. Right, so we finished putting the uh, greenhouse cabinet together, the floating shelf, made my bed. <laughs> I'm going to put this uh, mirror I won at a fundraising event. I think it was a silent auction for a breast cancer. And I'm gonna put it right there in the middle. About you, something about you I like. About you I like. Huh? Huh? What do you guys think? It may look weird right now, but wait till we put all the plants. And then I think you guys will see it look pretty cool. Hold on, let's start putting plants in. And almost left town But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us Gotta say the obvious Nobody loves me better Nobody loves me better There you guys have it. As you can see behind me, we're done putting it all together and I'm so happy how it turned out. Major glow up from what it was before to what it is now and I can't wait to give you guys a tour of all the plants that's inside the greenhouse, talk to you guys about the different products I use and the slight modification. But not only do these cabinets function as a greenhouse, but they definitely help organize your plants a little bit better, you know, put a bit more style and really makes it feel like a little bit more spacious in this room and definitely a lot more space for more plants. So we're really, really excited about that. But uh, without further ado, let's get started with this tour. So these glass cabinets is actually from Ikea. This one is the Mills Bowl collection. I know they have different styles, but I went with this one because I love the straight and clean lines it has. And I went with the black one instead of the white one because my bed frame was black and my bookshelf was black. So I want to definitely make sure it had that consistency. But uh, yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and show you guys the plants that's inside. I'll show you guys kind of what I did with the lights and what I did with the outlets and the fan inside. All right guys, as you can see, we got this beautiful black coated frame with glass walls and then glass shelving on it. And we even have a lock for those people who come to your house. 
who are nosy and you don't want them touching your plants so that's what i'm gonna use it for but at the top shelf here i got some cuttings of my silver sword melanochrysum and philodendron brandy and the light i'm actually using is from my uh seedling uh set so this was a grow light i used to uh, germinate seeds and grow little cuttings so they're meant more for cuttings than actual like full length plant but they do the job for me and the reason why i'm using this is because you know it's perfect length and I mounted it using double-sided tape. So you want to make sure you get strong double-sided tape uh, that can hold up to like 10 pounds or 20 pounds. So this one holds up to 10 pounds and they stick really, really well. Uh, but yeah, so that is the light I'm using. And then I run the light back there, slip it through uh, the glass. You guys can see here, I got the rest of my plants. Look how beautiful this filled under melanocrys in the leaf, this dorayaki. And man, I'm every time I look at my forgetty eye, I'm loving it more and more. I this leaf has now hardened, but I love the texture. Look at all those bumps. It, I know, it just looks so cool. It looks like a diamond or a turtle shell. But uh, yeah, and then you got here my Clarinervium and my Crystallinum sibling and my Monstera that I overwatered, and you can tell because it's starting to yellow. Now I did install a fan as well. Because whenever you have a greenhouse, you want to make sure you have a fan for airflow. It's important. Not only does humidity is important, but also airflow. And again, I ran that wire uh, back there. Now, I have this um, little hygrometer and the humidity has dropped because we opened the doors. But this was around 65. And the only way I'm creating humidity is actually putting a bit of like wet moss uh, in these like uh, containers. And uh, that is enough to kind of create a bit of humidity here. I don't want to put a humidifier in here. Maybe I'll put a fountain one day, but for now, this does the job. As long as my humidity here is above 65%, uh, I think we're good. On the other side, it's around 80%. I'll show you guys what I did and how to get that to 80%. But the fan is there. It's as important as uh, humidity if whenever you have a greenhouse. And then down here, we put some of my alocasias. And normally, I don't have my alocasia in a greenhouse because they don't for me they they're fine in like regular room humidity but you know winter is coming and it does tend to get drier in my place and i want to see if we can get these guys to grow a bit more new leaves uh, make it more full and i think with a greenhouse that might help so the, again the cords run back there and then at the bottom we got some of our propagating or propagation uh boxes we got this i keep forgetting what this philodendron is and three philodendrons there but this is why we drilled the hole. You guys can see right there. That's where I drilled the hole. I used a one and a half Milwaukee hole dozer. And then I got a one and a half um, Gromé. Is that what it's called? To kind of just cover it right there. So that's what helps kind of do our uh, cable management. But um, yeah, so that is the setup for this greenhouse. And, and again, you guys can also use a top to place some plants there. So I got a few there. I got my Exolis Triangularis, which is looking beautiful our Macrophylla Hoya, and then our um, Moonshine. So on my headboard, I kept a few plants. I got some Hoyas here, Philippines, the Silver Dollar Vine, and then this beautiful Densifolia. And I wanted it to kind of go over the mirror because again, this mirror I won at a fundraising event earlier in the year. I think it was for women's breast cancer. And I really wanted an accent piece to really kind of just pull you know this room together and uh yeah so above that is our floating shelf that took forever to put together i think this took longer than putting one of these guys together but uh yeah so you guys can see here i put the oh my gosh what's this plant called oh this is this color because i really this thing grows so fast and it just trails really nicely and it can grow really wild and i wanted to kind of create that wild look up there and then drape really nice um down here so really really cool it is starting to become one of my favorite trailing plants right now and then we got our hoya sunrise there in the corner and our hoya vietnam and then if you go back down here <laughs> we have a couple more hoyas the gigas and the parasitica and the matilde so that is that setup there and you guys can see it just it looks so cool i'm so excited honestly this is not my favorite room not only am I gonna sleep here and do crazy things, I'm just kidding, but I'm also going to work from here, you know, eat here, work out from here, do my yoga here. Anyway, I'm just kidding. But um, so let's take a look at this greenhouse. Now, show you guys what I mean. See the humidity there, it's 81. And down there is about 68. And the reason why up here is 81 
is because I put the um, Raffidophora uh, moss board with the high in Cryptantanta in there. And when this is wet, that creates humidity. It's exactly the same uh, reason why I put those um, mo wet moss in a container to create humidity rather than putting a humidifier in here. So again, we got our fan there, we got our light set up. I took obviously the top shelf off because I wanted this to have a bit more space for these plants to grow. You got our Gloriosum there, our Monsera Alba, <laughs> how can I forget? Our Queen, which has a new leaf that's starting to show up. Our Magnificum, and man, this Crystallinum, look at that beautiful new leaf. I'm so excited. If you guys checked out my previous video where we did a tour of how the space looked before, you guys can see how much this has even grown in the short uh, few days. But that's the reason why. But you can see the humidity already dropped because we uh, opened a door. But down here, we got a few more philodendrons, our mycans, our Florida ghosts, and our gigas, and a couple of there. I put the Stefania Arachta there. And again, I got some of my cuttings and propagation boxes in here. So what most people do with a few of these uh, IKEA uh, greenhouse cabinets is they actually do a few modification. Sometimes they will seal it off with like weather strips, but I actually don't think I wanna do that only because I know how high the humidity can get without doing that. So I don't mind having these gaps or these space to allow some natural air to come through. And with a fan, it really does help kind of the airflow, um, you know, circulate throughout the greenhouse. Now, what I might do in the future is I might actually replace these glass shelves with more of a wire rack. So that way we can have more air coming through it. And um, maybe one day put like a moss board, like against the entire wall at the back, rather than just, you know, where the high is and then grow some plants. Who knows? There's so many ways you can kind of modify this if you want. But, uh, and then again, I'm putting some plants up there to add a bit more space. So really, that is kind of what we did with this um, room. And yeah, you guys can see how much it completely changed and looked from uh, what it was before. A lot more space now and even more space to, you know, on the other side where we have our bookshelf. Uh, so that way we can add a bit more plants again because I moved the burgundy now to that corner. So we can definitely put something there. And then the desk I had there, I, I actually just put it here at the front for now. And I think it actually works as kind of like a workstation and just, you know, put a few tools in there if I need to. Uh, and then we have this other bookshelf as well. So, but yeah, there you guys have it. Love this new space now and I love the way it turned out and it just feels so comfy, so spacious. And it just, I don't know, there's just something about it. I just honestly just want to hang out here. So that's pretty much it guys. Comment below and let me know what you think of the new setup. Do you like it? Do you not like it? I personally like it. I think it turned out really well and I'm so happy with the new space. I know this is my bedroom, but for the most part, the plants own this room and I can't wait to add a few more plants. The plants in Nemo, she also owns this room as well. And uh, yeah, I'm so excited to just hang out here a lot more. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little video and until the next one, enjoy your week and we'll see you guys then. Peace.